Good morning, everyone. I'm Dr. Gurutej Singh Saini from Vardhavan Mahavir Medical College and Subdaying Hospital. I'm presenting my paper on role of image guided percutaneous skill therapy in management of slow flow vascular malformation and its MRI correlation. Aim to evaluate the role of MR imaging in response evaluation after completion of image guided sclerotherapy to evaluate symptomatic relief. Introduction Slow flow vascular malformations are congenital anomalies that usually appear at birth. They are irregular, variably dilated, dysmorphic channels, having thin basement membrane and flattened endothelium in contrast to hypercellularity seen in vascular tumors. They can be diffuse, localized, superficial, or deep. Slow flow vascular malformations can be of three types, venous, lymphatic, and capillary. Venous malformation clinically presents in different ways, from a small vague blue patch on skin to a soft, compressible, non tile mass. Among superficial lesions, 40% are found in head and neck region, 20% in trunk, and 40% in extremities. They can also be found in viscera. The most common manifestations are pain, bleeding, compression of adjacent structures, ulceration, and cosmetic deformity. They generally expand after the Valsalva maneuver and flatten with applied pressure. Diagnosis is typically based on history, clinical presentation, evaluation with Doppler ultrasound, and confirmation by MR imaging. Percutaneous skull therapy is best treatment because it is a simple, safe, and effective method. Commonly used sclerosines are 3% sodium tetradecal sulfate, sodium moruate, 3% polydocanal, bleomycin, absolute ethanol, doxycycline, and hypertonic saline solution. Methods A cohort observation study of 35 patients was done in Department of Radio Diagnosis, BMMC, and Surgeon Hospital, New Delhi. After informed written consent, history, local examination, and ultrasound examination, MRI was done. MRI protocol, 3 mm sections were taken as follows. Fat saturated T2 weighted stir images in axial and coronal slash sagittal planes. T1 weighted FSC images in axial and coronal slash sagittal planes in pre and post contrast phase. Mean diameter of lesion in two planes was calculated. Lesions were divided based on size as follows. Grade 1 well defined less than 5 cm diameter. Grade 2 a well defined more than 5 cm diameter. Grade 2B, ill-defined, less than 5 cm diameter. Grade 3, ill-defined, more than 5 cm diameter. Sclerotherapy treatment was done under ultrasound and fluoroscopy guidance with the local anesthesia and aseptic precautions as an OPD procedure. After four sessions or after complete thrombosis of lesion, as seen on ultrasound, MRI was done after 30 days of last session. Mean diameter of lesion in two planes was calculated and the reduction in size of lesion was evaluated and classified into five groups as below. One was lesion is larger in follow-up scan. Two, no change. Minor improvement, less than 50% decrease in size. Marked improvement, more than 50% decrease in size. Five, cured lesion no longer visible on MRI. Assessment of patient symptomatic relief according to a Likert scale as shown below. Score 7, description very good, percentage change more than 75% improvement, 6 good, more than 50% improvement, 5 fairly good, more than 25% improvement, 4 same as before, 0 improvement, 3 fairly bad, more than 25% deterioration, 2 bad, more than 50% deterioration, 1 very bad, 75% deterioration, any side effect of treatment like nausea, vomiting, infection, Skin discoloration, co-injected side, ulceration, peripheral nerve injury, and venous thromboembolism was recorded. Study flow chart. The patient who was suspected to have vascular malformation was taken into a study. History and proper clinical examination was done. A pre-treatment MRI was performed, uh, uh, following which uh, uh, Image guided percutaneous close therapy. Follow up and subscription session was done if required. Follow up MRI was done after four peaks of last session.
रिजल्ट आउट ऑफ थर्टी फाइव पेशेंट हु आर इंक्लूडेड इन दिस स्टडी फोर्टी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ऑफ पेशेंट है वन ट्वेंटी फाइव पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ऑफ द पेशेंट है पेशेंट सोडियम ट्रिटेड कैल सल्फेट टू वॉज यूज एस क्लोज एंड फाइव पॉइंट सेवन परसेंट ऑफ पेशेंट ऑन दैम पोलोटोकन वॉज यूज नो चेंज इन साइज ऑफ लीजन वॉज सीन इन ट्वेंटी 48.6% patient had fairly good improvement 37.1% had good improvement and 5.7% patient had very good improvement most common complication was pain followed by edema other complications were hyperpigmentation scarring mouth ulcers case 1 22 year female with the swelling on left side of neck for 2 years with on and off pain on examination there was ill defined swelling no skin discoloration visual pulsation of group figure one shows ultrasound imaging showing patent anechoic channels and, uh, and this image shows sclerosis injected on the uh, fluoroscopic guidance figure 1c and 1d shows pre sclerosis therapy mri coronal and axial stellar image respectively showing uh, uh, a lesion here and on post sclerosis therapy and the lesion showed decrease in size case 2 30 year old male with swelling on left lateral aspect of neck for 10 years no history of trauma no skin discoloration visible pulsation of proof sclerosis uh, sclerosant injected under fluoroscopic guidance as shown in this uh, figure and uh, the after ultrasound these, these are the thrombosis channel of sclerosis and flebulite within figure 2c and 2d shows axial and coronal uh, stellar images of uh, uh, lesion as shown here and after uh, sclerotherapy there is a reduction in size of this lesion case 3 14 year old male with the swelling on right cheek for 2 years on examination there was ill defined swelling no skin discoloration visible pulsation or groove figure 3 and 3b uh, this is our pre sclerotherapy images axial and uh, sagittal uh, this is the lesion and after sclerotherapy there is a reduction in size of this lesion discussion various malformation management and treatment requires a mul uh, multidisciplinary approach that involves specialist in radiology interventional radiology surgery and primary physician care we found that image guided peripheral sclerotherapy is an effective safe and in expensive method for treating slow flow venous malformations in most previous studies a reduction of at least 50% defined as a good to excellent result and we used the same threshold in our study 40% patient showed more than 50% reduction in size as seen on mri sodium tetradecal sulfate and polydecan are effective sclerizing agents in this study significant symptomatic relief was observed with this treatment considering the side effects and the results of this treatment it is safe to say that sclerotherapy should be first line treatment for various vascular malformation before proceeding to surgery mri is also expensive that it is best modality to compare the result of sclerotherapy treatment however clinical comparison based on patient and clinician subject analysis cannot be undermined these are my references Thank you.